Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Modded Character Showcase. We are jumping back in as Adam, but this time we are doing something different. We are going to try to do Insane Mode and try to get one of the unlocks for Insane Mode, which I believe is beating the heart on Insane Mode. So yeah, as I understand Insane Mode, full heart damage from all enemies um, and less treasure rooms. I don't really remember anything else other than those two things. I guess we'll find out as we go along. I bet there's going to be like less consumable room drops, stuff like that as well. But main things to, to know is definitely, yeah, we're going to be uh, taking more damage and getting less rooms. You know what? No. I I'm sorry, but no. There ain't no way I'm starting my first insane mode run and getting clicker on my item room. That item does not deserve to exist. But yeah, as you just saw there, we just took a hearty bit of damage there. We lost our eternal heart and half a heart. It could, it could be, uh, it could be a little tricky. This one could be a little tricky. Um, eh, it's not really that good, but we'll take it. Yeah, I don't really know what else we got going on. In fact, it's kind of good that we got that because now we've got uh, the ability to go for one of the pots here. Look, almost killed myself on that there. That was, that was kind of close. We'll see what we get from the giant pot here. Spider baby, yay! Not exactly what we're looking for, but hey ho. Uh, oh, we dropped our active. I do not want to drop our active right now. Thank you very much. I think we're still going to stick with the fire rate bonus. Apple is yet another one that probably should be pocketed, but um, yeah, both both characters kind of suffer from that in my opinion. Uh, although, although saying that. Based on my feedback in the last episode, they have actually updated um, Abel. So Abel will now do a, a kidney bean fart um, on any single active item usage, which is huge. It makes some actives way, way better than his original active. Um, and also, there's the um, MCM option to pocket the, his kidney bean if you want to as well, which I think both are good changes. It's it's an interesting way of doing it, and it doesn't limit him as much. Um, I'm hoping that the same goes for this character as well. I think the limiting factor of Apple is really it be, not being a pocketed active makes it a little hard to um, fully utilize. Whoa. Okay. Don't know if that's something that's more common in insane mode, or if I just got hilariously unlucky, but um, not what I was expecting, to say the least. Not what I was expecting. Luckily, we did end up getting Midas Touch out of it. Oh my god, there's so many spike chests spawning. Is that is that something we have to deal with as well? Maybe it is. We're going to look for secret room here. Realistically, on insane mode here, we want to be trying our best to, to find every single benefit we possibly can. That was uh, not what I expected. I was not expecting that bomb to hit me the way it did. I think projectiles are maybe a little faster too. That seems to land a bit faster than normal. I don't know if that's just, just me thinking that because I know I'm on insane mode and thinking, trying to think of a different ways in which it's challenging me or if that's genuinely the case. But that seems a little faster than normal. Um, Wheel of Fortune. Hey, finally got a half heart there. And cause all enemies in the room periodically fire lasers. Not particularly good. Actually got a nick like that guy. Yeah, because I know that the keepers can spawn um spawn the greed boss fight, but it's super, super rare. So I don't know if I just got super unlucky or if that was like a changed thing with part of this. I do got to remember taking full heart damage here. In fact, I probably want to go for higher damage just to try and make this fight go a bit quicker. Really? He, he actually dodged my bomb then. Was that on purpose? You goober. I don't know if any like enemies have any enhanced patterns or anything like that. I very highly doubt it, um, but it's it's plausible. Nice, Cracker Jacks is good. And paying for a Devil Deal grants a damage up, mass stemma only gains a smaller amount. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and we shall go. Um, yeah, I think we'll just go. But yeah, we've only got to beat Mum's Heart and Insane Mode to get the unlock, so it's not like we have to go the whole nine yards, but still... Still difficult, nonetheless. Thank God we killed him early. But yes, we are we are going to be losing Devil Deals a little more easily, I'd think. the The movement speed of enemies doesn't seem to be any faster, from what I can tell. So that's that's something that's that's good to note. 
I'm having a really hard time killing this guy. This champion version. I'm, I'm going to guess, actually. I haven't, I haven't even really thought this. I'm going to guess champions are more common. I mean, that would be a really, really obvious thing to make hard mode more difficult. Also, I'm going to guess the chance for getting a curse probably increased per floor as well. I, these are all things that I'm, I'm just assuming, but to me, insane mode, it, it would probably make sense for curses to be more common and, uh, and stuff like that. Like, that just seems like the most logical sort of thing here. Oh, God, this is... These rooms are rough. I, I don't know, although this is another thing it could technically do. Rooms actually do have difficulty ratings um, if the developer has uh, assigned them, which most developers usually do. Uh, so that could technically mean that some of these... Um, some of these rooms that are spawning are a higher difficulty than normal. Like, it, it, it may be uh, predisposed to select high difficulties on insane mode. Like I said, these are all assumptions. I'm definitely noticing that chests are mimic chests far, far, far more often. That's that's 100% the case, because um, I've had quite a few chest drops so far, probably due to my high luck stat. But all of them have been mimic chests in one form or another. Now, we do have two different forms of mimic chests. So that actually is kind of helpful for us because it means I'm not just getting the most basic kind. I also have a mod on that makes Mimic Chests drop on hit effect items. So we've got some good stuff going on um, if we do end up opening the Mimic or Spikes Chests. Getting a lot of random red hearts here. I wonder if shop prices will be increased at all. I didn't see anything in the other shop about increased prices, but I'm certainly not ruling it out. And I wonder what the chances are for our item room to be replaced, because so far we're batting two for two. There's another one, look. This is just crazy. Ooh, Invader, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Careful of the little fly. And you'll go bye-bye. I'm getting a lot of these little egg sack things here. Probably shouldn't have killed him first, to be honest. Makes things a little more difficult on us. But yes, good old Adam. Good old Adam. I don't even know what I'm going to do for the thumbnail uh, change. I, I'm, I've been updating the thumbnail to show what completion marks we've got, but I don't know how I'd update it for the insane mode completion mark. I'm really not too sure on that. Okay, good. Oh, a regular chest. Good, good. Okay. We've only got one bomb left. I was going to use a bomb for this guy, but only having one bomb left, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Yes, I very much do like the higher damage for bosses. Can you get out of this corner, please? Making things a lot more difficult than they have to be. And yeah, we do, we do want to take Devil Deals here because we've got this trinket to gain extra damage. Oh! All of our red hearts and soul hearts are halved. That's interesting. I'm taking a big risk here. Oh, oh, a very big risk considering I didn't think I'd be getting hit there, but there you go. The damage is quite high now. Um, Probably be a good idea to try and check out our shop. That is a very good item, actually. Uh, we'll see if we can get a penny for that. We'll see if we can find the secret room as well without mapping. I mean, it's likely to be... Actually, I don't know. There's a few places it could be, looking at it now. A few places it could be. Hmm. I mean, I just got an extra bomb, so let's um, blow up these guys. There's our penny and a bomb back and some keys. Lovely. Right, where could secret room be? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. There's there's some locations that seem obvious, but I know they're going to be wrong. <laughs> right, um... Not here. Not here. I think it's below here. Okay, it is. It seems odd, though, that. It seems odd. Lots of consumables. I get these, just because Mini Isaacs are cute and all. Right, anyways, let's go grab our active in the shop and use it. See if we get anything good. There's some good uh, min-maxing here. The Streak series has been helping us to min-max a little more. Glitch City. Periodically spawns glitch tiles while held, which, um, while held 
which destroy rocks, blocks, projectiles, and damage enemies. While held at every minute and a half, another random item held will turn into Glitch City. That seems very interesting. It seems somewhat alarming, to be honest, but, uh... Whatever, let's give it a go. Basically, everything becomes Glitch City. As long as it does good damage, that could be good for us, but... I have a feeling it won't. <laughs> I mean, it's quality 3, I think, wasn't it? So, I I've got high herps, or, or like high-ish herps for it. I'm hoping it doesn't take Eye of Balor, or um, Anthem, or whatever it's called. Oh, I lost my Grey Heart already. That was stupid. So I, I am one hit away from death now, so... Gotta be a little careful. I wonder if champions do two hearts of damage. And I wonder if you get two hearts of damage on the wound. Damn, that killed him instantly. We've got a roll for Balls of Steel here. Do remember if we find a Soul Heart now, it is only going to be half a Soul Heart. So... No way! It just took my damage up. You... You little bitch. Took like the worst item it could have possibly taken there. I just paid a devil deal for that. You coward. Oh, good. The Mimic Chests, or the Spike Chests, whatever you want to call them, are just insane. They're so common. Could potentially get HP out of these, so why not? We do have these bullet shots now, which could be useful. Yeah, I reckon our run's gonna, gonna get pretty wacky later, later down the line. Another spike chest. What a surprise. Who'd have thunk? A minute and a half is not long actually before it replaces an item, so it's gonna be it's not gonna be long before all of our items are replaced. Maybe it just takes the most recent item you picked up, and that's why it took that one first. Which means I'm gonna lose uh, Eye of Balor next, which makes me regret the devil deal. <laughs> Let's say that for sure. Careful of this dude. He will explode. Liking the slowing effects I've got going on here. <sighs> I knew it'd happen eventually. There's another one. Okay, it isn't most recent item, it's just random. I didn't die to that spike chest though, but... What? Not really sure what happened there. I died to a spike rock, and I did see that Glitch City destroyed a rock and it was replaced by a spike rock, but to my account, I was no like, I was close to it, but I was nowhere near close enough to have died to that, like, to have been hit by it. That's a bit of a shame. We're, uh, we're, we're, we're starting again. Oh my god, I didn't realize you guys shot twice. Okay, this is all going to shit. Insane mode, insane mode is tough. Maybe I need the higher damage rather than the extra fire rate and luck. Being able to kill things in one hit or uh, just a few hits might be, might be better, I think. I think things staying alive a long time is uh, very detrimental to our health right now. Maybe we'll stay in red mode. What? Is that the jar in there? I mean, would be good if our active was a pocket active, but it's not, so it isn't. What a shame. I was I was looking forward to a Glitch City run there. I just wish I'd have gotten Glitch City before my Devil Deal. If I'd have gotten it before the Devil Deal, then I'd have been able to not trade as much stupid HP. But sadly, twas not to be. Twas not to be. You guys aren't too bad. I'm pretty sure item room's going to be back the way we just came from, isn't it? Dude, I can't believe these guys take four hits on 6.12 damage. These guys are chonky, man. Chonky boys. But yeah, the half drops from everything is pretty pretty brutal as well. Getting half soul hearts from uh, even sources like um, Squeezy is just oof. Rough, man. Right, item room, what do you hold for me? 
it better be good. I, I should obviously um, switch between our apple when we're going between rooms because I get the extra speed boost. Come on, item room. You know you can win this for us. Just, just end me. Just end me. I can't believe that guy hit me then. This, this damage is not quite enough. I expected it to be more. Dude, these are some trash ass starts right now. Do you know, do you know what? I, 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 I regret my decision earlier. I'm not going to use the damaging apple. I think having luck is far better to get more drops. I think more drops is super useful in insane mode. But so far, proving to be a bit insane. I mean, the full heart damage this early on, it, it fucks with you. Also, this is... Uh... Man. Man, that was a, a really, really, really gross room. Okay. Item room, please be good to me now. Do not even, do not even dare be an active item. Okay, Dead Onion's pretty good. The shot speed down isn't too bad. And piercing obviously is nice. Let's see if we can make it work. And so shot speed down is one of those things that it's like, it doesn't really matter unless you've got specific items. I mean, it's it's slightly inconvenient. It is nicer to have a higher shot speed than a lower, but it's not something that's like super detrimental to your run overall. This guy got charred. Oh, the things have so much health. Man, die. Die! Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm never going to be able to keep this Eternal Heart alive. I mean, at least it keeps you alive. At least it keeps you from dying in a single hit. But there's no way I'm ever going to be able to take that to the next floor. It's just not going to happen. I mean, I've got double hearts over here, but there's not really much point in taking them because it doesn't, it doesn't increase the amount of hits it takes to kill me. I think genuinely just Adam is a really, really bad character for Insane Mode. He just starts with such low HP and like... Not that much damage. Even, like, even with his, um, alternate apple form, like, he's he's basically not even as good as Judas. <laughs> so, I think he has slightly more damage than Judas, but obviously his other stats are, are lowered to compensate for that, and he doesn't have the book, so it's like, I don't know, I, fe I feel like the, the white apple is much better than the red apple. I think the red apple could do with a bit of a boost, a little bit of a boost in damage and maybe slightly less of a, of a knock-on effect to um, speed or something. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm just spitballing here. Don't have to listen to me. But I, just, I just feel like the red mode is, like, not as usable as the white mode. Anyways, Hurst on Thirst was decent. A decent grab. Counterfeit Penny is also kind of nice here. What do I want next? Dude, the amount of spike chest, man. It's too much. Half a soul heart, lovely. Herming would be really nice, but that's a that's a kind of a pipe dream. We've got spectral now, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, kind of forget that. Rubber baby. It's it's extra damage. It's, it's it's one of those ones that I think only really helps early game, but we are still early game, so I don't mind him too much. Yeah, don't step on the webbing so much, please. Good, good, good. Yeah, the half red heart drops. I mean, if we can actually fill some red heart containers, that would be really nice. Last time that I traded those away. Foolishly. Very, very foolishly. I think, uh, on insane mode, I think angel deals are pretty much going to be mandatory uh, rather than devil deals because you're going to need your HP as much as you can take it. Especially, I don't know if it does, but especially if the womb... Um, kind of an evil room, this. Um, especially if the womb does double damage, like double double damage, I mean. Like, if that's the case, then 100% you are going to need as much health as possible, because that will be rough. 
Well, that's very nice. That's literally a heart container. Ooh, sharp cursor would be nice. Sharp cursor would be very nice. Good. Straight onto our boss. Don't think we'll be able to get Sharp Cursor here, unfortunately. Piercing should make this a breeze. I mean, we've got piercing in two different kinds here. The laser kind and the tear kind. Just don't get hit by him. There you go. And yeah, we're definitely going to just keep our HP here and go for Angel Deal. Because I just think, yeah, Devil Deal is, is a mistake. We're doing much better here, though. I'm hoping we can get some, uh, another good item room item. But, like I said, I don't actually know if we'll get an item room. Uh, we will. Okay. Maybe they changed that. I, I swear originally someone told me that, like, there was less item rooms. But I'm not seeing... That's, that's, like, not been the case thus far. Unless I'm just getting really lucky or unless it only, like, triggers on, like, Necro or something. Like, maybe once you get to Necro, there's no item rooms. Fire mind is hilariously dangerous, but of course that means I'm going to take it. I actually quite like Fire Mind as an item. I think it's pretty good. I realize I don't have a key for this yet, but I still think blowing these up is worthwhile. Especially considering we're likely to get a key, and we did. We got Soap Box. I can't remember what Soap Box does. Heals two hearts at the start of every floor, and plus range. Both very, very nice. That will be very useful. I can't believe that hit me. Can't believe that hit me. We've got enough for shop now as well, and we've got a key to get in there, so that's lovely. I'm going to do this for secret room. Also, to kill that guy, apparently, too. It wasn't intentional, but it works. Hello, good sir. What the fuck? What did... What? Okay, the enemy died, and then Firemind exploded. Firemind can only explode upon hitting enemies, so what the hell just happened? Does, does, someone needs to get a slow-mo replay on that. Oh, dude, I'm almost dead already. Pop, pop. Double tap fire to um, to fire three times damage tier in a burst. Tier rate is reduced for a short time after using this effect. That sounds interesting. Pop, pop with a stainless steel. I like it. It seems usable pretty goddamn often, to be honest. Dude, it's 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 so usable. You can just kind of spam it. I love this. This is amazing. Okay. Oh, I picked up a bomb and it turned into a troll bomb. That's obviously obviously something new as well. Okay, that's that's slightly uh slightly concerning. Oh, we're full on red hearts apparently. Kind of a waste on my behalf there. Oh, I think it was just broken on that last floor, because it's nowhere near as good right now. I'm using it with the, uh, the big red apple version, because it seems better. Don't know how I wasn't hit there, I'll be honest. That was kind of a miracle. It's a weird item. I like it, though. Especially with piercing. It's, it's, it's a lot better with piercing. Seemingly, at least. 
Now this is this is not not nice for fire mind. I'm probably gonna end up hurting myself here. Surprisingly, I didn't. Oh, I can't get to that, unfortunately. Actually, can I? No, I don't think I can. Can I? Not seen that item room yet. I've got to go back for that. Did I? I, I'm not sure, but I picked up a key then, and I, I don't think I saw my amount of keys increase. Is there a chance to not gain consumables upon picking them up? There's one of my rooms. I made this. Fucking get away from me, you spider bitch. I made this cheeky room. It is quite cheeky. Right, item room, where art thou? Really, I should swap whenever I'm walking between rooms. Yeah, I'm liking it with the uh, the, the extra damage. Feels good, man. It feels good. Right, let's let, let's watch our consumables here. Five keys, six keys. Okay, that that that, that all went normally. I, I've got to keep an eye on this. This is ten coins to twelve because we got counterfeit penny. That's fine. Maybe I'm just going a little bit mad. Credit card. What was in our shop? I didn't actually check the shop, did I? Didn't actually check the shop. But we've got a credit card now so we can buy something. We're going angel deal so we don't need to save it for devil deal or anything. Item room. Why do you have to be so elusive, my guy? Why couldn't you just be on the track towards the boss? That would have been so much better for everyone. What are you drawing there, Goober? Apple of Sodom. Apple of Pride, even. Quickly check in here. There's one of those top hats there, but... Those key block machines. Okay, so I think this is one of the flaws where we just got double cash rooms and no item room. Because, as you can see, we have two cash rooms there. Which is kind of evil. Double damage on a cash room. Like, cash rooms ain't of any value on, on insane mode. Like, if anyone use, goes into a cash room without, like, teleportation or, like, some way of avoiding damage, absolute mad lad. Grab all of that. Broken stopwatch is not exactly good, but couldn't exactly think of a reason why not to take it, because it can be useful more than it's a, ne a detriment, but it could also be a huge detriment. We'll see. Right, boss time. Hopefully angel deal time as well. I think we've got two soul hearts at the moment, so even if we take damage here, we shouldn't lose our uh, angel deal. Hello, good sir. I always forget he can do that. Ah, really? No angel deal. Did get ourselves a thingy though, some speed up and stuff. That's nice. Slowed down first room, thank you. Here we go, got 100% here. And oh, uh, because we didn't actually have an item room, we do gain planetarium chance, so it's not all downsides. Didn't think about that. That's interesting, not something I'd considered. Pretty useful to know. The Bibble. Four to six mini Isaacs, thank you. And in here we've got this, which isn't actually that good for us right now, but I'm going to take it just because later down the line we might switch active items. That could be quite good. In fact, I, I might actually... Take this. Bible gets added to all pools, and then when we get the Bible, it does some extra effects alongside it. That having one less charge seems like it could be pretty good. Dude, the fuck just die. There you go. Keys back there. Spike chests, why? Maybe grey chests just don't exist anymore. Regular grey chests. 
Hypercoagulation actually seemed pretty good um, for this. Yeah, there's our troll bomb there. Look. Yeah, hypercoagulation seems kind of useful actually. When we get hit on red health, we can chase after our red heart. We're not always going to be able to get it back in time, but if we do, it's a way for us to stay alive. Grab these two keys real quick and go straight after our boss. With that 100% angel chance. And you, you watch. You watch the Bible thump give me the fucking Bible on this angel deal. I mean, technically, the, the Bible can show up in the angel deal anyways, I think. I don't really know what happened with this guy just then. Okay, so we're probably not going to get that angel deal that I was hoping for. Because, um... The fuck, man? Very disappointed so far. That was that was brutal. That that champion version of that boss is very hard. I I am now basically certain that insane mode increases projectile speeds because there were certain things in there that I had no chance of dodging unless that guy just has really high projectile speed. But I don't know. It felt like to me that um, there wasn't much I could have done to avoid that. Right. Right, let's hope we can get it this floor, but I'm not hopeful, to be honest. The game is bullying me right now. I was doing so well. That's pretty amazing, to be honest. Oh, they're get Curses for What the hell hit me then? Oh, my lord. Now, nah, do you know what? I'm going to take this instead. Fuck it. I want the Bible. Good old sped up room. You get out of here, you. That hit me no way. Hypercoagulation there did give me some health back there. Oh, we got Planetarium though, finally. Something to be proud of. What are you going to give us? Neptunus, not bad at all. Not bad at all. We fire like an absolute burst of shots now whenever we do that double tap. Oh, what's that angel deal again? I didn't even realize. Really? Really? Isaac's heart. Yeah. I'll take it. This is already hard enough. Why not make it infinitely harder? Why not make it way harder than it has to be? Especially considering we can't really charge with this double tap thing. It makes it even harder on top of that. Right, I'm just trying to focus here. Finally got the angel deal, lovely. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take that. Seraphim is not great, but we'll take it. Um, I will check this just in case. Yeah, oh, there's a new item there. I'll just at least check what that is first. Tears up whenever you take damage, trigger an animation where you lay on the floor crying for a few seconds, shoot tears in all directions. That's kind of interesting, but a little annoying by the sounds of it, potentially. Anyways, we are down onto the wound floors where we now take two full hearts of damage per hit, so... Things are about to get almighty spicy.
We have to be extremely careful. Extremely, extremely careful. Luckily, we do have a very good setup right now with Neptunus plus this Pop Pop. Also, this room is faster. That scared me. It seems Neptunus is making it so I can use Pop Pop more often. Don't know why that would be the case, but it certainly feels that way. If I let it charge up a bit, Pop Pop just goes off crazy. I don't know where I'm going here, but I'm just kind of hoping for the best. Oh, you bitch. Thank you, Hypercoagulation. Honestly, having a Burn Heart plus Hypercoagulation might be really, really good. Take care of him first. Hope that kind of worked out. Ball of bandages, unfortunately, the last floor that we need to actually complete here. So let's let's pucker up and let's get let's get it done. Really, you're gonna give me this room first? A boss that I'm not very familiar with at all. Still yet to actually know how on earth any of his patterns realistically work. I don't understand what he's doing right now. He's a cool, like, new version of the boss, but it still scares me. Like, what, what is he doing? I don't, I don't actually know. Is he going to spew out a bunch of tears? Is he going to jump right towards me? Yeah, that's just... All of it is unknown to me. Ooh, we got a polyp here. It's good. Get some extra juicy stuff out of that. And we get a bunch of hearts out of it too, which is really good for the rest of this floor. Blood Clot's very nice. Extra damage is lovely. Good, good. All damage taken gives a broken heart instead. That is... That's really risky, but it would... So, I, what I think I'm going to do is, if I get down to, like, really low HP, or once I enter the mother fight, I'm going to take that, I think. Because that, that gives us some safety. It gives us more hits rather than the current amount of hits we have available to us. Oh shit, I have to actually... This is bad. Oh no, I blocked it with my body. Lovely. Flat damage of bomb increase. That's at least better than what we've got right now. I don't know how my heart didn't get hit then, but... Again, I'll accept the, the game's verdict, regardless of how wrong it felt. Stay away from my burn heart. My, my burn heart, my thingy heart, you know what I meant. This is a horrible room. Oh, I lost my burn heart. Fuck you. Tried so hard to keep that goddamn thing alive. Okay, we made it the right way, so I'm gonna go and get that trinket. Just in case. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I don't know if this is just a womb thing or or what, but apparently backtracking respawns the rooms. Is that like a new curse I have or is that part of this? Because that's kind of evil. Maybe I just never actually finished that room or something. Oh no, it, it, this is just part of the curse. I, I, this never happened before, but then again, I didn't, much, but didn't do much backtracking before, so I don't know... If this is related to the wound flaws, or if this is just a thing with this. Right. 
This will help us. Really, again, is that is it? Is it always going to be the same room that repeats? So, so backtracking is a very, very big no-go, especially in the later floors. You really don't want to backtrack. Very detrimental to your health. Let's see if it's the same room again, because it, it might be all the same rooms, or it might just be a percent chance. It's looking like it's going to be the same room again, you know. Yeah, it is. It's all the same rooms. There's a few rooms that are, like, basically set to repeat. Okay. Right, remember, I can block my heart from taking damage here. Literally by standing in front of it. Mum is doing some, some of her sussy, sussy moves right now. I don't much like that. Right, Mum's heart's done. Insane Pendant has appeared. Nice. We apparently did get hit in there and gained a broken heart. I'm going to keep this trinket for a little while and then drop it off later on, I think. I'm just going to have to pay attention because I clearly didn't have any like sound notification that I got hit back then. Even though I clearly did. I gained a broken heart, but it didn't make any noise that I did sort of thing. Lots of cards. Hermit, Fool, Emperor, Stars. I mean... Emperor just seems like the obvious choice to use right now to skip as many rooms as possible here. Probably would have been better on the next floor, to be honest, considering I've already gone through some of that floor, but hey her. Don't like what's going on right now. I gained another broken heart here. This is going to be really, really hard to dodge with our heart here. Wasn't too bad, actually. I'm expecting it to be way harder than that. Again, didn't take any damage there, even though I clearly should have. Don't know how I keep getting so lucky, but I'll just accept it. Okay, maybe the heart just can't get hit by those, the those beams, you know. It's seeming like that's the case. It's like I'm just running through them all and nothing's happening. Weird, I never knew that. Never knew that. Anyways, doing good thus far. Doing good thus far. This trinket is it, it is helping us, but I don't think we'd have died yet anyways. We only got hit once on that floor. Unfortunately, a whole load of crap here. Brandy is obviously nice, but the rest of it... Not the best. Judgment. Mm, not enough money to really get any health out of a judgment, so it's not much point. X-ray vision could maybe be helpful. We'll see. Blank rune could be helpful too. That's that's nice to see. Bunch of red hearts there. God damn, these guys have a lot of HP. Oh god, the hook. No, thank you. Please just let us find the boss quickly. Dude, what are you doing? Boss just walks up on me. He killed himself on my fire. Man, you literally breathe fire, you doofus. Why are you such a poo-poo stinky head? Right, in we go. Okay, we already got hit here. Oh god, we got hit a lot. Yeah, there needs to be... This trinket's good, but there needs to be an indication of when you gain a broken heart. Because right now it's stupid. Also, there's no... Do, do you know what? I need to drop it. Because there's, there's no iframes with that. You can gain, like, two broken hearts back-to-back -back super, super easily. 
Like overall it seems good, but it's not. Oh, I'm only taking half heart damage right now. I don't know, I don't know why. Dude, can you stop doing the burn thing? Dude, get into your next form, please, you Jezebel. So hyperregulation is basically our only our only herb here if we uh, keep getting hit. Didn't want to pick, pick that up. No, thank you. Dude, don't pick up either of those. I don't know why I'm only taking half heart damage on this boss fight, but we did it. We did it. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a lot of fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.